Yes, we had been very lucky uh, that <coughs> Mazar al-Islam, when he completed his graduation from Oregon University in USA, he came in the year 1953, and in the same year, he designed two buildings. One is the art college, the then art college, and the other one is the library. And these two buildings actually established the beginning of modern, modern era in architecture in our country. And, uh, and these two buildings are actually very, very nice buildings, very good buildings, very efficient and very <clears throat> pleasant and also represent the honest expression of modernism. Uh, Mazar al-Islam actually adopted the Western ideals, Western principles for his design, but he was an excellent architect. So he knew and he was creative. He knew how to uh, adopt those things in our context, how to modify those things into our context, context of culture, context of climate, context of material. So these two buildings, actually not only the first two buildings in Bangladesh, these two buildings are, can also be understood as the first two uh, modern buildings in the whole of our subcontinent. Because Kanvinde, uh, Charles Korea, Doshi, they didn't produce anything in the early 50s. Uh, and not, not in, Zephyr Bawa was not there so, at that time. So these two buildings represent the modernity of our whole subcontinent. And that's why I said we, are, we were very lucky and we are lucky because <clears throat> he was able to demonstrate uh, with an ex two excellent examples how the new building should be. He didn't take any inspiration from our local uh, Mughal architecture or from colonial architecture. He wanted to create a new era because uh, after 1947, the country was divided and it got independence from the, from the British colonialism. So <clears throat> we had the inspiration and the enthusiasm to build a country, to bring some pride within ourselves. And Mazal Islam was able to do this, do that very nicely, very uh, efficiently. <clears throat> and he, his architecture at that time was almost contemporary with the rest of the world. Because in 1950s, early 50s, uh, the, uh, the international style was uh, quite, uh, quite uh, important, but he didn't go for the international style. He was probably influenced by uh, Corbusier more. And in the art college, <clears throat> he exhibited how the openness of the land, in the ground floor, the, everything is open which is a device from Corbusier, but his plan form is very different. It is very local, open, all direction, and <clears throat> bringing the nature underneath, and also very transparent, very, the, the demarcation between the open and the, uh, the interior and the outdoor was totally uh, destroyed. There is no uh, outdoor, indoor in, uh, demarcation. So this is how he wanted to create a new architecture uh, uh, for Bangladeshi context and which has also some similarities with the rural uh, rural uh, architecture where indoor and outdoor uh, is not that strongly expressed. So <clears throat> this is one thing. And then he used local material. He went for uh, creating bricks. In art college, he used the bricks. This is the first time exposed brick walls were used in our country and which later we saw that Khan, Louis Khan also used the same uh, brick walls. Uh, he, he made the whole buildings here uh, in brick buildings, uh, brick walls, except the assembly building, which is made of concrete RCC walls. So Khan actually used the architecture of the walls in uh, Bangladesh. Uh, he was inspired by the Roman architecture, basically, and but he was a modern architect. So he <coughs> wanted his buildings to have certain personality, gravity, and also some contextually Indian or, 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 or to our subcontinent. He saw Taj Mahal and he understood that this, this country has a big a tradition, a big legacy of uh, architecture in the past. So he, he understood that he, help, he will have to uh, come up with a really uh, strong architecture because we deserve to have a good building here. And <clears throat> since we have got the democracy after the uh, uh, after the uh, uh, 47 uh, uh, independence from British. So it was necessary that uh, <coughs> for Loikan it was necessary to establish democratic institutions. So assembly building, 
provided us the democracy, the, the, the symbolic democracy in our country, so which will inspire us uh, to have and to have uh, the to have the courage and uh, the uh, tenacity to build an egalitarian society.